I want to say that it sounds like all of the credit should come to me, but really, I want to say that I, I read a little thing this morning as we were cleaning out. Um, we, we just got our hardwood floors all redone and we're getting rid of our desk. And so I was cleaning out all the desk drawers and going through all these papers. And I found this cute little letter that someone had written to their child explaining Santa Claus. Because the child had asked, does mom and dad, are you Santa? And the mother and father, you know, had been leaving the presents. You know, they had been kind of acting as if they were Santa. But in the letter that they wrote to their little son, um, it was so poignant because... I, I, I really connected with it because you kind of give the credit for all the presents getting under the tree and all the magic to Santa Claus. But really, it's the community. It's all those little households all over the countryside that have wonderful spirit of giving and love in their hearts. And that is what is putting the actual gifts in place for the children making all the, you know, magic happen on Christmas morning or, you know, just coming up with all the, the beauty about the holiday. And so, you know, the children don't really see this whole thing happening and they, they credit Santa Claus, but it's not Santa at all that's doing it. It's just the beautiful love and compassion and spirit of giving that is already in our community that's just coming out. And that's what we have here in this garden. And that's what has made this such a wonderful place. So I just wanted to give a shout out to so many wonderful people who have inspired me to kind of take the reins and say, all right, we're going to do it. Um, the first person I'd like to shout out is my mom. Yay. Because she's, she's very selfless and she's always working at the golf course for the better, betterment of the whole place and she just makes that place sparkle and it's, she's a wonderful role model. And I'd also like to call out my best friend and soulmate, Kathy, who... <laughs> who has supported me undyingly and has taken care of my mom. And she is out there working at the golf course today because, you know, she wanted to allow me to be free to go and do projects like this. So, Kathy, thank you very much. And I would like to also credit my husband and soulmate, Matthew, because he is an, an entirely selfless person who after I've been running around cleaning out the woods and doing all these projects, you know, I don't have dinner on the table. I don't have my home flower beds done. I don't have anything arranged at home. And he comes together and he makes us dinner and he cleans up and he's just absolutely 100% supportive. And, and I just thank him from the bottom of my heart for that. I also want to say that this project, the, the Giving Garden in particular, was absolutely incredible to me because I really did very little. I feel like I kind of orchestrated, yes, I did that, but things, there's the acorns, things just sort of flowed with this garden. I've never had it happen so much in my life as with this project. Like whenever we needed something, we would just kind of put it out there that that we needed cardboard. And sure enough, um, the gentleman from Rogers Manufacturing just dumped, you know, a whole slew of cardboard here for us. In, and it was just perfect timing. And, you know, whenever we needed tools or compost or or the the posts for all the fencing those things just came to us free of charge you know um, people just gave out of the goodness of their heart even when we went down to see other gardens 
to um, take a little inspiration. You know, they would say, oh, do you need a fence? Do you need a big garden gate? And actually, we did. And they just offered it to us, and we didn't even ask them. They just said, would you like this? And we were like, well, heck, yeah. You know, so things just sort of landed in our laps. And then as far as the irrigation goes, that's kind of the funniest story of all, because my, my old boyfriend, who is my first boyfriend, back in sixth grade, when I think it was illegal to have a boyfriend back then, <laughs> um, and his, his name was Ben, and he lived right up on the corner of Jackson Hill Road and Mack Road, and um, he eventually broke up with me because I didn't kiss him. Because, <laughs> you know, I wasn't going there. <laughs> but anyway, so now he is in charge of the whole irrigation department for Winterberry Gardens in Southington, and he goes all over the country installing irrigation systems. And so they needed to do some community service, so we got an irrigation system. <laughs> Wow. So, you know, it wasn't like I did anything. He just offered it to us, you know, and I was like, great. So I think the universe was smiling on us for this project. And I think it's, it's a real good reason. The other thing I wanted to, to say was I'd like to credit my, I feel very privileged. And I feel like we're all very privileged. We are all so lucky to live in a community like this, to have this wholesome food. We have healthy families. We have plenty to eat. We have plenty of love in our lives. And a lot of people don't have that. And I would, I would really like to you know, bring healthy food and a healthy lifestyle to those people who don't have that. But it's because I have that that I don't have to work my tail off at three different minimum wage jobs to put food on my table, you know. I can take my time and I can donate it. And I can use my privilege to create betterment in the community by going out and weeding the woods. I, I feel that I, because I am, I'm privileged like that, I can give. And I would love to make it more possible for other people to feel like they are privileged, you know, so that they are not eaten down by socioeconomic conditions or their race or any other factor, you know, drugs and alcohol, food insecurity, you know, there's all kinds of things. So as we work together on projects like this, hopefully we'll bring that privilege toward a greater segment of of our population so that we can have more people that feel happy, at peace, healthy, and inspired. So we can get more projects done and it'll catch on. So I think you guys have sat here long enough. <laughs> um, I think if anyone would like a tour of the garden, then I would be more than happy to show everyone around. And um, I know that Coggenshaw Valley Education Foundation has a lovely array of food for us and drinks. So I hope that you all enjoy this time here in the garden and enjoy each other because this is a wonderful group of people here and we have much to celebrate. Thank you all very much. I'm very honored to receive this, this award. <laughs>